Did you know that you can make popcorn with your air fryer? Now, I don't recommend that you use microwave popcorn. However, you can use popcorn kernels in your air fryer to make fresh, hot, delicious popcorn at home. First, preheat your air fryer to 400 degrees for about five minutes. Then I like to add one tablespoon of coconut oil, though this is optional. And then you add a quarter cup to a half cup of popcorn kernels. Today, I added one third of a cup. Then give it a shake and then put it in your air fryer for about 10-ish minutes or until you can hear that the popcorn has kind of finished popping and it's not burning. You also want to open it every 30 to 60 seconds to kind of give it a brief shake and then after it's done, leave it for one minute to let all the remaining kernels kind of pop without it popping once you open it. And then you can drizzle butter, salt, or any seasonings that you like after. Something that I recently came across is this salt, it's popcorn salt, it's called Flavacol. And this is what the movie theaters use to make their popcorn addicting and delicious. So a little goes a long way with this stuff. I just do a tiny, tiny bit. I think it's like half a teaspoon or half a tablespoon just to taste basically on your popcorn. So I'll link to this as well. I just bought this on Amazon. Next, did you know that you can bake desserts in your air fryer? Just like using an oven, the air fryer is basically a grown up easy bake oven. So I know that you know what I'm talking about when I say that you can make little mini desserts, whatever can fit into your air fryer, you can use it as a mini oven. You can use casserole dishes, cake pans, anything that is oven safe can safely be used in an air fryer. So if you want to bake a little mini cake, you can use one of these pans, put it in the air fryer using the directions for the cake recipe. Although generally I do like to lower the temperature just a little bit in the air fryer versus using a whole oven because the temperature feels like it's a little bit more concentrated in this small oven. You can even use silicone muffin tins or you can use any type of baking dish to bake cupcakes, make cakes, make little, you know, individual size microwave mug cakes, anything like that is easy to use in the air fryer. You can even make cookies in your air fryer. I have a link to some air fryer cookies on my website, I'll link to here. But it's so easy to make just a small portion in your air fryer without having to heat up the entire house. Next, something that the air fryer can do, which is amazing, is to make toasted nuts, seeds, legumes, beans. I love doing crispy chickpeas in the air fryer. It's the perfect appliance to roast seeds and nuts and foods like that because you can easily shake the whole basket you can make a smaller portion. The heat is really evenly distributed. And so it is a really nice way to make roasted chickpeas. Like I have this video here. It's a great way to get in some protein as well. And my kids like them. So that is a plus. If you've watched any of my other air fryer videos, you know that the air fryer is the king or queen of making frozen foods. You can do almost anything frozen in the air fryer, like frozen chicken wings, frozen hamburger patties. You can do chicken fingers, fish sticks. Anything that you can buy in the frozen section of a grocery store, you can basically make in your air fryer and it makes it so much better than the oven because the oven is kind of just dry heat, but something about the air fryer convection just makes it so much crispier and faster and better than the traditional oven. Next, did you know that you can actually steam in the air fryer? All you need to do is just take out your air fryer basket add a little bit of water to the bottom of the air fryer basket, and then add some kind of a, usually just the grate that it comes with is fine, but you can also use some kind of a trivet or something to keep the food out of the water. And then you just cook the food in the air fryer with that water in the bottom of the basket, and that will create steam and it will steam anything through. It adds a lot of moisture in there. And so it's a great way to make vegetables or to steam anything that needs a little bit more moisture. Next, did you know that you can make delicious crispy snacks in the air fryer like potato chips? All you have to do is add some potatoes that are thinly, thinly, thinly sliced to the air fryer and just kind of cook them at 400 degrees with a little bit of oil and salt and just shake them around for about 10 to 20 minutes. It just depends on how quickly your air fryer cooks and how many potatoes you have. But you can also do this with other vegetables as well, like beets, radishes, carrots, kale, and you can make really healthy, nutritious, yummy snacks that are crispy and fast. 
Next, did you know that you can make an entire breakfast in the air fryer? We love making bacon in our air fryer. That's probably the number one thing we use it for. We just add the raw bacon straight into the air fryer. You don't even have to lay it out into like rows if you don't want to. Sometimes I just throw the whole slab in there and then shake it up and break it up as it cooks. But you can also do tons of sausage. You can make hash brown patties. I love getting the ones at Trader Joe's. And I also love doing eggs in the air fryer as well. You can make hard boiled eggs in the air fryer, or you can even make like a poached egg in the air fryer, a scrambled egg. All you need to do is add a ramekin or an oven safe dish into the air fryer first to preheat. I usually preheat it for five to eight minutes until it gets nice and hot, just like a pan. And then I'll spray it or add a little bit of butter crack an egg in there, and then you can mix that up into a scrambled egg, or you can add a little bit of water and make a poached egg. I have all those details on my website, trytestedandtrue.com, so you can check that out right here. But it's one way to make a really quick and easy breakfast that's hands off that you don't have to babysit. I also really like making little quiches or egg bites in the air fryer. I just use a little egg bite mold, or you can use a dish like this to make a little frittata. You can do vegetables and hash browns, potatoes, cheese, ham, whatever you want, and then you can just bake it in the air fryer. And then you have a nice personal little breakfast that you can enjoy for a day or two, because that's like kind of a lot for one day. <laughs> Next, did you know that most air fryers can also dehydrate food? Most air fryers have a dehydrate function, or even if it doesn't have a preset, you can usually just turn the temperature all the way down to the lowest temperature that it goes, and then you can dehydrate foods that take a long time to cook on a very low temperature. For example, you can dehydrate fruits like mangoes or apples or berries, those usually take kind of a long time because they have a lot of water in them. And you can also dehydrate vegetables or even make beef jerky to dehydrate all of that moisture in those really moisture rich foods. And you can even dehydrate herbs so that you can take fresh herbs, dehydrate them in the air fryer, and then you can crush them up or use them however you want to use your dried herbs. Did you know that you can make one pan sheet pan dishes in the air fryer? Basically, you just need to segment your air fryer basket just like a cookie sheet in your oven and then you can do all sorts of meals like chicken fajitas or you can do like chicken or shrimp potatoes vegetables in different parts of the air fryer basket and then usually those things kind of all just get seasoned and mixed up together anyway so you can very easily make a sheet pan recipe and convert it into an air fryer recipe by basically just Instead of putting it on a sheet pan, you just put it straight in the air fryer. Okay, last, this goes without saying after all of those other things that I said, but basically anything that you can make in an oven can be made in an air fryer. The air fryer is so versatile and it can just convert anything into a smaller portion basically. Or you can also do things in batches. I use my air fryer more than any other appliance in my kitchen and we could not live without it. So I hope this video gave you some great ideas on how you can better utilize your air fryer in your kitchen so it's not just sitting there wasting space. And if you like this video, make sure you watch this one next and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, bye.